Hey guys, Ray from Lovey RV. So I'm finally back with my review update of this Bouge RV 40 amp solar controller. Uh, initially I did a video back in June and I was going to come back in, in the summer and kind of slip through the cracks. I forgot about it. But anyway, it's uh, worked fine in a couple different situations. I had it, I was using it as one of my main controllers in my, uh, my trailer's uh, solar power system. I have a about 1,000 watts on the roof and it was being used uh, as one of the controllers was being fed with uh, 540 watts of solar and it was uh, powering my uh, Lion Energy lithium batteries and it uh, did a good job at that, no problem. Um, I did that until late fall and uh, when we left, before we left in no early November on our trip, I switched it over and uh, put it into my uh, truck box power station. Um, I just did a video on that. I actually just updated that, so if you missed that video, I'll link to it. But anyway, it performed well in there, no problems at all. Uh, one thing, I, a couple things I don't like, I'd like to get into this video, and also going to um, pull it apart and give you a peek inside of how it's built. Uh, I did find out that the Bouge RV is sort of a reseller of parts. I don't think they really manufacture a lot of their own parts. So I kind of looked online and found this Helios. as looks like the original manufacturer of it. And you'll see it kind of in this red and black formation sold under a, a couple different names. So it's kind of one of those things where Bouge RV probably orders uh, uh, them from this company and then get some rebranded and all that so that it comes under the Bouge RV name and I think they go for about 150 bucks usually these guys give you some sort of discount or something so you get 10 or 15 percent off so fairly economical controller anyway let's uh, kind of get to the, the things I, I don't like about it the app is okay and that's nice that it has an app um, so that you can view the the current and wattage um, but the app, it's one of those apps where you, you open the app and then you have to actually do a further step and click um, a button to search for among the Bluetooth that's surrounding it. And then you pick the Bluetooth and you can view it. But every time you close the app, the next time you have to go through that thing. So kind of just a, a niggly little thing there as far as their app goes. The app kind of gives you the wattage and everything and you can set up the profiles if you're using lead acid. I, I picked a lithium profile. So anyway let's go uh, take it apart and I'll show you a few more things. Uh, you may ask why did I remove it out of my main system and put it in my truck box system. A couple different reasons. One is um, I've been reviewing these SRNE controllers as well. Um, I really like this one because it has a nice easy to look at display and this is what I had in the truck box so I decided to put them together so that they were matching controllers and I also have the SRNE DC to DC controller that I'm testing out. So it's kind of nice in my main system to have all the same controllers. Also the Bouge RV controller has some weatherproofing to it so it makes more sense to have it out in the truck box and it has the the app so I don't have to, you know, look at the display or anything. It's just easy to bring up the app to look at it. So here we are, popped apart. Just this glass front I had to get off and it's just sort of uh, sticky taped onto this plastic piece. Then this plastic piece is screwed onto th to the unit itself, which is basically a kind of a pewter metal case. And you can see they've embedded all of the electronics in kind of a rubbery, thick rubbery coating. I guess that's how they can get the sort of a water resistant uh, rating for it. I think it's sort of like splash proof and good for if, you, if you're having it uh, out in kind of a, a shed or something where it's exposed a little bit to the weather, which is good for where I'm using it actually in my truck toolbox there. It can be out in the, the elements, no problem. This part here, you can see the display. And this little ring, that's where you, uh, it's kind of a, a touch control there where you touch it and it changes the functions. There's a little bit of a ring there. I guess it picks up the capacitance in your, in your finger. Let's flip it around here. You can see there's a cable, it's a little circuit board. This to me looks like probably the little Bluetooth board. You can kind of see how that is kind of forms an antenna right there or the printed circuit board 
goes like that. So that's probably the blue tooth pickup. And over here I'll show you, there's some screws here for the leads to go in there. And in here what I did is actually, there was another piece of bar that went between there and I shaved it off, kind of a, cut it out and kind of filed it down. Because I, I have some wires that were, I was trying to get some uh, six gauge wire in there. So with that metal bar between, it was kind of a, a pain to get it in there. And also being that this is metal, I don't really like that this is a metal surround. Because you know, it just takes a strand or two of that copper wire to touch and you have a short. So this way I can kind of get it right, and you gotta get it right inside there. I don't know if you can see in this light, but inside there, there's a kind of a plastic divider in there that you can get the wires right deep inside there. But yeah, that's one drawback I don't like. Anyway, I'll pop back together and I'll give you a look at how that display looks in the bright light. Kind of washes it right out. There we go back in place so you can kind of see it's pretty bright out right now with the sunshine you can see the LEDs where it's showing the batteries connected and the, the solar panels connected but it's not until you kind of get into a darker light or yeah you know, into the dark here that you can kind of see I don't know if you can see the display there voltage stuff like that shows up in there doesn't really matter too much because it's uh, got the app so I never really have to look at it this is just handy to know it's working if those two green lights are on anyway I'll continue using it uh, in my uh, toolbox power station here and if I have any problems with it I'll be sure to uh, let you know cheers folks